Only those rape and revenge themed films are included in this list where the victim herself takes revenge against the rapist. The list of films about the psychological and social struggles of rape victims is already uploaded on this channel. Number 1, Death and the Maiden. Directed by Roman Polanski, it is a gripping and intense film that explores the psychological aftermath of rape and the complexities of seeking revenge. Set in an unnamed country emerging from dictatorship, the film follows Paulina, a former political prisoner who believes she recognizes her rapist's voice in the man who offers her husband a ride home. Convinced of his guilt, Paulina takes matters into her own hands, holding him captive and putting him on trial. The film delves into the dark corners of trauma and retribution, as Paulina grapples with her desire for justice and her own inner demons. Polanski's direction is masterful, creating a tense and claustrophobic atmosphere that mirrors Paulina's psychological state. The film's exploration of power dynamics, guilt, and the complexities of justice make it a compelling and thought-provoking watch. Number 2, Deliverance, directed by John Borman, it is a harrowing film that explores the brutality and violence that can lurk beneath the surface of seemingly tranquil environments. Set in the rural American South, the film follows four friends who embark on a canoeing trip along a remote river. Their trip takes a dark turn when they encounter a group of violent locals who sexually assault one of the men. The film's portrayal of the aftermath of the rape is chilling, as the victim grapples with feelings of powerlessness, trauma, and a desire for revenge. Borman's direction is gritty and intense, capturing the primal fear and desperation of the characters as they fight for survival. Deliverance is a powerful and disturbing exploration of the human capacity for violence and the lengths people will go to in order to protect themselves and seek justice. Number 3, The Nightingale. Directed by Jennifer Kent, it is a powerful and harrowing film set in 1825 Tasmania, Australia, during the period of British colonization. The film follows Claire, a young Irish convict woman, who seeks revenge against a British officer and his men after they commit unspeakable acts of violence against her and her family. Kent's direction is unflinching and immersive, capturing the brutality and stark beauty of the Tasmanian wilderness. The film explores themes of colonialism, racism, and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable suffering. The Nightingale is a challenging and deeply affecting film that sheds light on a dark chapter in history and the enduring strength of women. Number 4, I Spit on Your Grave. Directed by Mayer Zarki, it is a controversial and disturbing film that explores themes of revenge and justice in the aftermath of a brutal rape. The film follows Jennifer Hills, a writer who is brutally assaulted and raped by a group of men while staying at a remote cabin. After the attack, Jennifer seeks vengeance against her attackers, methodically hunting them down one by one. Zarki's direction is unflinching and graphic, depicting the horrors of sexual violence in stark detail. 
The film's portrayal of Jennifer's transformation from victim to avenger is both chilling and empowering, challenging viewers to confront the complexities of revenge and the consequences of violence. I Spit on Your Grave is a controversial film that has sparked intense debate and divided audiences, but it remains a powerful and provocative exploration of trauma, retribution, and the limits of justice. Number 5, Revenge. Directed by Coralie Fargeet, it is a visually stunning and visceral film that subverts the traditional revenge narrative. The film follows Jen, a young woman who is brutally assaulted and left for dead by her wealthy lover and his friends during a hunting trip in the desert. Fargeet's direction is bold and unflinching, using striking cinematography and intense visuals to convey Jen's journey from victim to avenger. As Jen seeks revenge against her attackers, the film explores themes of power, violence, and the objectification of women. Revenge is a feminist take on the revenge thriller genre, flipping the script on traditional gender roles and offering a brutal and empowering portrayal of a woman fighting back against her oppressors. Number 6, Ms. 45. Directed by Abel Ferrara, it is a gritty and intense film that follows Thana, a mute seamstress who is sexually assaulted twice in one day. After the second attack, Thana snaps and kills her assailant with a sewing machine. Ferrara's direction is raw and unflinching, capturing the grimy streets of New York City and the sense of unease and danger that permeates Thana's world. As Thana embarks on a killing spree, targeting men who harass or assault her, the film explores themes of trauma, revenge, and empowerment. Ms. 45 is a provocative and challenging film that offers a stark and uncompromising look at the effects of sexual violence and the lengths one woman will go to in order to reclaim her agency. Number 7, Monster. Directed by Patty Jenkins, it is a biographical crime drama film based on the life of Aileen Wernos, a prostitute who was executed in Florida in 2002 for killing six men. The film delves into the psychological and emotional turmoil of Wernos, played by Charlize Theron, as she seeks revenge against the men who have abused and exploited her. Jenkins' direction is sensitive and nuanced, capturing the complexity of Wernos' character and her descent into violence. Theron's performance is transformative, earning her critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Actress. Monster is a powerful and haunting film that sheds light on the harsh realities faced by marginalized women and the devastating consequences of abuse and trauma. Number 8, Thriller, A Cruel Picture. Also known as, They Call Her One Eye, 
it is a Swedish exploitation film directed by Bo Arn Vibenius. The film follows Frigga, a young woman who is abducted and forced into heroin addiction and prostitution after being rendered mute by a traumatic childhood incident. Frigga trains herself in martial arts and marksmanship to exact revenge on those who have exploited her. The film is known for its graphic violence and intense scenes, including an infamous sequence where the lead actress performs unsimulated fellatio. Thriller, a cruel picture, has garnered a cult following for its gritty and unflinching portrayal of revenge and its influence on later films. Quentin Tarantino has cited the film as an inspiration for the character of L. Driver in Kill Bill. The film's raw and brutal depiction of Frigga's quest for vengeance has made it a cult classic among fans of exploitation cinema. Number 9, The Accused. Directed by Jonathan Kaplan, it is a powerful drama inspired by real events. The film stars Jodie Foster as Sarah Tobias, a young woman who is brutally gang-raped in a bar. The film explores the aftermath of the rape, focusing on Sarah's struggle for justice in a legal system that is often biased against rape victims. Foster delivers a powerful and nuanced performance, capturing Sarah's pain, anger, and determination to hold her attackers accountable. Kaplan's direction is sensitive and thought-provoking, highlighting the societal attitudes towards rape and the challenges faced by victims seeking justice. The Accused is a gripping and emotionally impactful film that sheds light on an important social issue. Number 10, Bobul. Directed by Unvita Dutt, it is a haunting and visually stunning film that blends elements of horror, fantasy, and social commentary. Set in 19th century Bengal, the film follows Bobul, a young woman who is married off to a much older man but forms a close bond with his younger brother, Satya. As the story unfolds, we learn of the atrocities faced by women in the patriarchal society, including child marriage, domestic violence, and the suppression of women's voices. When Bulbul is raped and left for dead, she returns as a powerful and vengeful spirit, seeking retribution against those who have wronged her. <laughs> 